Hello everyone, today we'll be learning about the Folly House Ghost. Savannah, Georgia, a town designated as the most haunted city in the United States, has many stories of ghosts and specters. Today we'll be looking into one of these ghosts, more specifically, the ghost of the Folly House. Folly House is a bed and breakfast that was built in 1896 by Honoria Folly, a widow and a wealthy immigrant. After it was built, her and her son and his five children lived in the home while also working at the bed and breakfast. They enjoyed a peaceful life together for a time, that is, until strange guests started staying at the inn. It is said that this man was attempting to court Honoria, but every advance he would make would not sway her. But despite this, he persisted. One night, while Honoria was sleeping, the man entered her room. She was awoken by the man, and she quickly grabbed the first thing that she could find a candle holder, and hit him over the head in self-defense, killing him instantly. Out of fear, she contacted a friend of hers who was a mason, and with his help, hit the body in a wall within the house. The remains of this man would not be found until 1987, when construction workers who were working on the home found his skeleton stuffed in a wall. After removing his remains, strange things started happening at the home. After this, many people started reporting seeing a man with a top hat walking the garden outside of the home, and some report hearing strange noises being heard late at night. Others, however, feel cold breezes inside the house without any notable cause. These incidences have prompted a few paranormal hunters to stay at the inn, and many claim that the inn is really haunted. We have a few facts and pieces of information that go along with the story. The bed and breakfast was built on top of a home that burnt down in the Great Savannah Fire of 1889. The man who was killed has affectionately been named as Wally by the local residents of the town and by the inn staff. The inn is actually two separate buildings that were conjoined in 1987, which is the reason the body was discovered. A wall was being knocked down and a hallway was being installed, connecting the two properties. The murder has never been solved, but recent investigations show that a man who checked into the inn in 1901 never checked out. Do you believe in these stories? Do you have a ghost in your town that you would like us to talk about? Let us know in the comments below, and be sure to come back to hear about more ghosts that may be haunting a town near you.